Hi! Uh, I'm Adriana Baranek and you're watching the English channel. Today, um, Lion Baranek of CDO joins us Hi. again. And we'll be talking about uh, SAP in the cloud, improving on your move to the cloud. So in the first two videos, we talked about what SAP is, uh, how SAP can be moved to the cloud, what are the options, what are the best use cases, uh, what you can get from moving your um, SAP workloads to the cloud. And uh, today we'll be talking more into details about how you can really improve on your move to the cloud with SAP. So uh, one of the uh, classical examples of using SAP would be uh, taking some information from SAP and uh, uh, using it uh, in Excel. Uh, analyzing it in Excel. Um, uh, this definitely would be something that you could improve with Google Sheets. What, what are all the examples where you can really improve on your move to the cloud with SAP? Mm -hmm. So for, uh, first of all, uh, SAP invested a lot into uh, improving on their user experience and they uh, currently provide uh, export to both Office 365 and uh, Google G Suite. Mm -hmm. Uh, but th there are many other uh, tools for reporting that can enhance uh, capabilities for uh, table calculators, uh, especially for, for example, uh, Google Sheets. They they support integration with the BigQuery, mm -hmm. and uh, 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 by using artificial intelligence and number of algorithms that are already provided it is possible to generate uh, reports that were only a few years ago uh, requiring uh, support of uh, uh, dedicated IT professionals and data, mm -hmm. uh, data scientists. So, uh, uh, in, in that sense, uh, when you have uh, SAP in the cloud, it is much easier to do exports and imports and do reporting without uh, 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 involving uh, IT professionals. Mm -hmm. So fr from, uh, from that perspective, it is a major benefit of uh, having SAP uh, connected to Office 365 or mm -hmm. uh, G Suite. Amazing. And uh, also, of course, it also goes uh, in both directions. Even if you have SAP on-premise, then you can still use those tools in the cloud and improve on your... Yes, business. but if you are using a lot of data from uh, SAP, uh, it is possible, but then you have to do export to uh, 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 cloud uh, mm -hmm. uh, environments, and uh, it's just much better if you already run SAP in the cloud. Mm -hmm. So it is possible to do it with yeah. on-prem solutions as well. Uh, uh, but uh, th there are some uh, uh, limitations to, mm -hmm. to that compared to uh, what you can do if you have SAP in the cloud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a way, uh, keeping an open mind and uh, starting your move to the cloud in whichever way possible, as soon as possible, is the best way to go, definitely. Yeah, so uh, the, uh, 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 it, it is somehow uh, only a question uh, what to do first and how mm -hmm. to uh, uh, prioritize and schedule mm -hmm. a thing. So for, for most companies it would make sense to uh, enable their knowledge workers to use uh, office productivity suites in cloud like mm -hmm. uh, G Suite or Office 365 and then provide them with additional uh, tools and capabilities from either Google Cloud Platform, uh, AWS, or Azure. So if you are using Power, uh, Power BI mm -hmm. for business intelligence and for uh, generating <coughs> reports in Office 365 suite, or if you are using uh, Data360 or Data Studio uh, from uh, G Suite, of course it helps if you have data in uh, uh, cloud repositories and uh, if uh, you already have uh, uh, prepared uh, exports and imports so, so that your customers do not have to wonder 
what they have to click where and how, but it just seamlessly works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, w we see with some of the companies that are large enough so that their move to the cloud is always a complex one. Sometimes they just choose to be very stubborn in their view that uh, they, they have what they have, it's still working, so they will just wait with the move to the cloud. Or the uh, even a worst case scenario would be where, where they decide to just call their data center a cloud. Can you please comment on that? We already talked so, about uh, that. The, this is the element of uh, you know private versus public cloud, private versus uh, hybrid cloud, and this is a big discussion. Can you please tell us more about so this? So laggards have um, uh, increased risk. Mm -hmm. So f uh, coming from uh, uh, security perspective, mm -hmm. so the, no, not only with this uh, crypto ransomware and yeah. stuff like that, th that is one, uh, one big issue that will f uh, for sure hurry up some mm -hmm. of those uh, uh, laggards. A second problem is that uh, today a lot of people in their personal life are using mobile devices, they are already using mm -hmm. public cloud and somehow they come to medieval times mm -hmm. when they come to work and uh, they, they have to log yeah. uh, behind uh, firewall use uh, VPNs because of uh, secure applications and they are n not uh, 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 protected if they, uh, if they are uh, on the internet that they, they cannot freely communicate and collaborate mm -hmm. with their colleagues so th there is also this uh, uh, problem that younger people will be kind of uh, reluctant and it's it's not uh, something that uh, younger generation expects from mm -hmm. uh, on, on their uh, workplace and of course there is a, a question of uh, uh, productivity efficiency and uh, mm -hmm. wh while uh, from financials uh, uh, it might make sense to utilize on-prem as long as, uh, as possible there comes a moment when it is just not uh, possible to continue and um, somehow a new investment has to be done in on-prem and that's really a big mistake so if, mm -hmm. if you have to do new investments in on-prem uh, uh, licenses or equipment then now it's time to discuss uh, whether uh, and how to move to mm -hmm. public cloud yeah and today's topic is improving on your move to the cloud with sap but um, uh, one important thing that i think that um, uh, many companies do not understand it does not have to be the big bang you do not have to uh, move all your workloads related to, uh, related to the sap to the cloud you can just for instance if you are running sap on premise and you do not have modules for some specific solutions and some specific use cases maybe those modules were too expensive or your company never got to developing them with consultants yes. can you tell us more about our solutions that have been built that can really uh, act, mm -hmm. uh, um, make so a the, great the, case uh, uh, for yeah the, there are a number of solutions that can complement uh, sap implementation uh, either if you do not have some specific modules mm -hmm. or if there is a, a business process that was uh, not implemented in uh, yeah. SAP for uh, s some other reasons. So, for, uh, for example, a highly collaborative uh, uh, processes like business planning or uh, uh, approval mm -hmm. uh, things are usually outside of yeah. Uh, of um, uh, SAP and uh, uh, there Miadria provides cloud solutions for both uh, financial planning or planning of some other resources or for uh, business process management for, for workflow uh, approval of uh, uh, forms and documents. But the, uh, there are of course uh, other things that can be done in uh, uh, in cloud like uh, CRM like mm -hmm. managing your uh, communication with with clients so 
for, uh, for example, email just doesn't make sense on prem, so it, it makes sense to have uh, uh, either uh, Google G Suite or Office 365 to m manage your communication mm -hmm. with clients through emails. And then there is, of course, this uh, uh, mobile device management, the, there is uh, 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 collaboration with clients with uh, uh, conferencing. So today, with uh, almost all mobile phones, it is possible to do uh, uh, video conferencing, but also to do uh, basic approval processes. So you, you can uh, actually mobilize mm -hmm. uh, de decision making. It doesn't have to be on a desktop PC that someone approves something mm -hmm. or, or gets information reports and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And especially for uh, Salesforce, for uh, people who are uh, dealing with uh, uh, with clients directly, um, this whole workforce, uh, mo mobile workforce uh, is best supported with, with public cloud applications. And of course, Miadria have some solutions in that space as well and we can help mm -hmm. uh, that you integrate uh, those processes with SAP as well. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, so um, we basically just touched the subject today uh, as with all our videos. Um, uh, if you have some more questions, if you need more explanations, if you have some specific use cases, either ask us in the questions below, uh, book your office hours with us on Friday uh, or just contact us via email. Um, we would be very happy to help with um, any specific cases. Um, so, um, do you have anything else to add? Have a nice day and thank you for watching. Have a nice day and thank you for watching. Bye.